Hey there, Pastor Nikki here again. This week's lesson comes from John 6, 1 through 14. Hear the words of our Lord. After this, Jesus went to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, also called the Sea of Tiberias. A large crowd kept following him because they saw the signs that he was doing for the sick. Jesus went up the mountain and sat down there with his disciples. Now the Passover, the festival of the Jews, was near. When he looked up and saw a large crowd coming toward him, he said to Philip, Where are we to buy bread for all these people to eat? He said this to test him, for he himself knew what he was about to do. Philip answered him, Six months' wages would not buy enough bread for each of them to get a little. One of his disciples, Andrew Simon Peter's brother, said to him, There's a boy who has five barley loaves and two fish, but what are they among so many people? Jesus said, Make the people sit down. Now there was a great deal of grass in the place. So they sat down, about 5,000 in all. Then Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed them to those who were seated. So also the fish, as much as they wanted. When they were satisfied, Jesus told his disciples, Gather up the fragments left over so that nothing may be lost. So they gathered them up. From the fragments of the five barley loaves, left by those who had eaten, they filled twelve baskets. When the people saw the sign that he, he had done, they began to say, This is indeed the prophet who has come into the world. I have here my son's lunchbox. I bet many of you are familiar with lunchboxes. I know when I was a kid, we used to trade the food that was in our lunchboxes. Today I want to tell you, though, about the boy with a lunchbox that we heard about in the story that was just read. In this case, it was probably a basket, not a lunchbox. And what he had in it was probably not worth too much to trade. I mean, he had five small loaves and only two pieces of fish. And I doubt many of you would want to trade a Twinkie for a piece of fish. Now, this boy wasn't going to school that day, but he was going to hear a great teacher, Jesus. The Bible says that there were 5,000 men. If we guess there was one woman and two children to every man, that means this little boy was a part of about a crowd of 20,000 people who gathered to hear Jesus speak. It was getting late in the day. And Jesus was still speaking to the crowd. But it was close to dinner and most of the people were probably getting hungry. Very few, if any of them, brought food like the little boy did. At the front of the crowd, Jesus' disciples were telling him to go dismiss the people so that they would go and eat. But then Jesus did, as he often did, put a challenge to the disciples. You give them something to eat. The disciples were beside themselves. They didn't know what to do. It would cost a fortune to feed so many people. Now, we don't know what happened or how it happened, but somehow, this little boy found out that Jesus was looking for some food to feed the crowd. And one of the disciples brought this little boy over to Jesus, and he offered up his loaves and fish. And Jesus took the food and he blessed it. And then he began to break up the food. And he told his disciples to go and distribute it among the people. Well, suddenly, one little boy's lunch fed more than 20,000 people and even had 12 baskets of leftovers for people to take home. He was one person in a crowd of 20,000 or more. And what difference would his five loaves and two fish make in a crowd that large? But the boy didn't keep what he had to himself. He gave all he had and he placed it in Jesus' hands. And look what Jesus did with it. No gift is too small when we give it to the Lord. And no offering is too small to make a difference. Remember that. And look for opportunities to give to God and to others. You'll be amazed at what God can do with a giving heart.